Hello church, I hope you're well today. Uh, my name is Ruth and I am a part of our North Manchester location. Uh, and this morning I will be sharing with you from the book of Genesis chapter 12 and verse 7 reads, Then the Lord appeared to Abraham and said, To your descendants I will give this land and there he built an altar to the Lord who had appeared to him. In, the, in this verse, God was reaffirming uh, the promise that he made to Abraham, then Abram. Uh, in verses 1 to 2, when he said to Abram, he said, Go from your country, your people and your father's household to the land I will show you. I will make you into a great nation and I will bless you. I will make your name great and you will be a blessing. Now, what stands out for me is that Abraham obeyed God immediately. He didn't try to make sense of the promise. Abraham did not focus on the promise, but he focused on the promiser. He left the comfort of his home of his country and everything that he knew and he started to live in tents. He had no idea where he was going but he trusted the one who called him. His focus was on the Lord and he recognised his need to dwell in his presence. He recognised the need to dwell in the secret place. So Abraham built altars along the way and throughout his journey we we would read in the, in the bible that abraham actually built altars to the to the lord he trusted god completely he trusted the promise keeper he trusted the one who who speaks a word and brings it to pass he trusted the one who never lies he trusted the one who speaks a word and watches over it to perform it. Now the Lord has been speak, speaking to me a lot about my journey and building altars along the way. And not just altars of prayers, but altars of worship and of total surrender. An altar is a place where we lay ourselves down and we can say like Jesus did, Lord, not my will, but yours be done. An altar is a place of death where we die to ourselves daily and we're able to submit ourselves to his will. An altar is a place of separation. It's a place of alteration. We are altered in his presence. An altar is a place of transformation where we receive strength and faith for the journey and for the destination ahead of us. An altar is a place, like I said before, a place of preparation. Now in the Bible, the Bible um, um, it says that when Abraham got to Canaan, now from history we know that that was the promised land. Canaan was actually occupied at the time. But on the altar, our Canaan is prepared for us whilst we are being prepared for our Canaan. Now, I don't know if you're like me, uh, I've been guilty of receiving his promise and just running ahead of, 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 of God sometimes and not sitting on that promise or dwelling in the secret place and just pursuing what my preconceptions of what that promise looks like. And oftentimes I get exhausted because I've made it up along the way. And, um, and so many times I do even wonder if, I actually even heard God in the first place. Now, I don't know where you're at in your journey. I don't know if you're years into your journey or if you are at a stationary place or if it feels that your journey has come to an abrupt end. I want to encourage you, encourage you today to allow your heart to receive his promise and embrace wherever you are at, at the moment even if it might look different from what you hope for it to be. And just believe and trust and if the Lord, that if the Lord is there with you, he will work it out. 
but it needs you to build an altar. Sometimes an altar requires us to bring broken rocks together, to bring broken rocks together. We can bring the broken pieces the imper and the imperfections of our lives, the hard things in our lives together to build that altar and just bring them to the presence of God and just lay down and just be in complete and total surrender to him. I want you to remember today that the promise sometimes requires a journey. And along the way, we need to build altars unto God. I'm just praying today that God, that, that God will give, give you and give us the strength to just build altars for him. To be completely unashamed to bring everything, all the broken pieces of our lives and lay them down before him in complete surrender and say, Lord, not your will, but mine. Sorry, not my will, but yours be done. Be blessed. God bless you. Bye-bye.